got some nice fresh lug that are going on these rigs here and we're going to stick it over the tide there's a bit of a tide run here um, I'm seeing people catch place which is why I'm getting all excited so we'll cast it out and see what we got Eastbourne Pier today Hi. To be really careful here uh, where you cast there's so many little traps you can't really get a full swing on you can just um, drop it down in the gaps maybe you've got to be quite accurate it's a tangly nightmare Well, it's a grey old day isn't it nice and flat calm the wind has dropped right off uh, and I'm hoping we're going to get into some place I'm hoping um, I have seen a couple um, I've seen a couple of thicker ones just come out um, got the measure out is that a good sign I don't know tempting fate maybe so if you haven't been to Eastbourne Pier before you can see as we spin around you kind of got three different sections really we're up here on the top bit and that can put us right into that tidal run uh, which is over there to the right have the old age problem here you do need to put something softer on these railings you see where it's rusty there that will easily uh, nick away at the line so we've got braid on here 15 pound mono and 18 pound braid um, but it will you know all it takes is a little nick isn't it and then you've lost a good fish reeling in on there so the other thing to watch out for on these piers is dropping bits through those railings You see around there, it's not too bad here because we've got a concrete underneath, but some of the marks here, um, some of those pegs, you're going to, you know, easily drop a phone or something. So me being me, I've got to be extra careful today. <laughs> it's a really calm day. It's lovely. Really calm. And that's what these place like. So keep an eye on these rods. I'm into a snag already. Apparently, there's the muscle bed comes round a little bit more than I was expecting. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'll probably break that out, but make me feel a bit better. I'm going to just add this rig, um, pre-bait it, so that as soon as that line comes out, um, I can change it and uh, we can go again. But it looks like the first snag of the day. Never mind. You see just a little bit of buoyancy there with those.
<laughs> they're following you. So it turns out only 20% of you uh, actually subscribed to the channel. Um, so with every video, 80% are unsubscribed. I would love you to subscribe. Um, all you need to do is just press the subscribe button down there. If you press the bell, you'll be notified of any updates from me uh, from sea fishing here on the south coast. It's a good way to keep in touch with what's being caught um, and I'd love you to be part of this saltwater angler community. Genuinely, it really helps if you subscribe, so please subscribe. <laughs> It's so quiet up here. I mean, today's a Monday, um, and there are other anglers, but it's really peaceful. It's an ideal sort of venue, isn't it? Fishing on a pier if you're new to the sport or you just want to get into some fish, it does give you a little bit of an advantage. It'd certainly be harder to connect with these places today from the beach. They've got a little pier hut that you know makes cups of tea, coffee, and they've got all the bits you'd need for fish. Place, yeah. Although I could imagine it could be quite crazy when the mackerel are in. So I've got my normal two rods out here. These are continental rods, not ideal for the pier to be honest, a little bit long. Um, not too not too bad when you're bringing a fish in but and moving it around the pylons and stanchions. There's a little rod here, this is an uptide rod that's being used by uh, the guy that looks after the pier hut here. He's just dropped that down into the tide run so sort of copying what he's doing really. Always have a look at what the locals are up to. Oh. 28 centimeters good 31 um, I will get a nice little fillet out of that so I'm going to keep this one okay so not massive but I'm really okay so not massive but if you hold it close to the camera it does look a bit bigger um, certainly I'll be having this for my tea so I'm just going to show you the, the setup here. We've got one of these C weights that was kindly sent by a subscriber. And this is a UV torch. It's going to make it glow, hopefully. Um, but I've done something a bit odd here. I've got one fresh lug. I've got the beads on each of these on the three-hook flapper. One salted lug. Uh, and one gutted and wrapped, so we can compare them, maybe. Um, you've also got the beads on there. 
always a little bit cynical about whether the beads make a difference whether this luminous stuff makes a difference but we'll see I'll put the camera down cast it out see what you think Well, I normally like to fish alone but it's been quite nice today fishing around other people uh, you can pick up the tips and tactics that they're using obviously you should go your own way and go with your hunches as well but um, it's been quite enjoyable and you're tucked away from those easterlies as well I mean we've got good conditions today but when it's uh, blowing across from the east you can sort of almost hide on that corner on the western side yeah really nice sort of fishing platform here A little bit of a change of plan. I could try hitting those place, a uh, different part of the sea here, but I'm going to go for a little ray rig. Um, we're going to put one of these on. Maybe there's a thorn back around. I think I'm going to do this on the lower platform. I think I'm going to do this, just drop it off here, see if there's any ray. Yeah, beauty. Look at this one. Not what we want, is it? If you're new to fishing, that's 
to whiting. Um, they're quite obliging, they're good fish to catch to start off with when you start fishing, as you will catch a few. Up in there. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. Do all like that. He's still smiling at me, this one. Yeah, cool. So, if you do want some of this uh, good fishing that can be had in Eastbourne, there's been some good catches here as well, by the way. Uh, big conger, big bass, smooth hound, and thornback ray uh, to £10, all of those species. There's even been, a, I think, a £20 conger caught as well recently. Um, so it's possibly worth a trip uh, down the A22 if you're driving to Eastbourne, the A259 Coast Road. And Eastbourne is um, about 40 minutes to the west of Hastings. So there is a sort of muscle bed apparently out here. Uh, you can cast over it if you cast in 150 yards. Um, and it looks like you can cast you know, out to the west or out to the east and avoid it. Um, everyone seemed to have a different idea of where it was so <laughs> you might want to check the charts for that one but you will lose baits uh, if you're fishing on that mussel bed uh, although it may also pick up species on it so um, just something to be aware of for lost rigs. A, a lady I've just been speaking to called me up because she saw something on this rod but of course I get here and I can't see a thing starting to get dark. Normally uh, when you lose the daylight and you're at a point now where the flooding tide is just starting, we're right on low tide and the tide is starting to flood. It's that first push of the tide. I've had good fish at this stage. Now we've had a lovely place today, I'm not complaining, but you always want more don't you when you're fishing. Uh, it was lovely to see everyone Seven catch uh, today. It's a really ounces. good community oh, here at Eastbourne Pier. I want something else. I want something more. I want a bigger, bigger fish. So we've got two baits in at the moment uh, for the either either a conger or uh, a thornback ray. Press subscribe. It's either there or there somewhere. Uh, there's also a bell icon as well. If you press that, you'll get notifications um, when I upload a new video. And it might be that you know the place runners started. We might have smooth hound, and of course when we come to the bass. 
uh, down here on the south coast you'll get notifications of videos uh, that I've uploaded I try to uh, upload the video within a few days of going fishing so it's you know as up to date as possible you often hear anglers talk about the sea being a mill pond this is a mill pond this is I've never seen it this calm we're in March now but look how calm it is look Yeah. Yeah, I have seen, I mean, I live in Hastings and um, people get stuck on there, and but they can climb over easy enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop the people. 